And then the and next guy, true. the next guy says, "You need to hire someone less cynical than Chris Hardwick. Maybe he could write for a grouchy old man magazine." Let's talk about the story. Page seventy-four. How? Oh, wow, you're good. Of the uh, of the January issue, the headline is "Diary of a Self-Help Dropout," and the story was about you looking into these uh, three different kind of cults of self-help time management. What were the three books that you looked at in the story? I looked at uh, well, I, ca- I called my friend um, Gina Trapani, who is the editor of Life Hacker, which is a like a it's sort of an aggregator of of life improvement stuff, tech improvement right. stuff, like simplifying your life through through technology and, and the internet. And she recommended um, uh, Never Check Email in the Morning by Julie Morgan Stern, and also The Four Hour Work Week by Tim Ferriss. And I actually already had. And it, which, which is in the article, uh, I already had a copy of, of Getting Things Done, which is sort of the ultimate, like, the gauntlet of of uh, Getting Things right, Done. Right, this is like a geek cult, the Getting Things getting Done. Getting Things cult. Done, David Allen's book, GTD. GTD. <laughs> GTD. Which is really, I guess, like the city-fied cousin of Larry the Cable Guy's <laughs> uh, famous uh, mantra. But his, it, his book, Getting Her Done. Get Get Her Done. Get, getting G, Her Done. G apostrophe D. Chapter one, Get Her Done. <laughs> Chapter two, The End. <laughs> Chapter three, I'm a billionaire. <laughs> so I, I went through and tried to live each one of these programs for two weeks at a time to see if I could, you know, maybe ex- extract some some bits of useful information for for the freelancer. Just like a full embrace. Just a full embrace. Just to really, because I, I'm always looking at ways to try to make myself more productive because it's I'm easily distractible. And how'd it go? What happened? I'm sorry, what? I just think it's I just think it's it's good to know that if you approach any of these things, there's not going to be one program that's going to give you the ultimate answer. You sort of need to take that Bruce Lee approach, I think, and just take bits and pieces of things that work, and then craft. You know, and if you really are interested in productivity, you'll spend the time to do that. You know, you'll spend the time to try to craft a system that that really works well for you. But I, I found that no one system, and there and there was some crossover in each in each of the books, which I thought at least validated like oh yeah okay these these seem to be these seem to be some sort of um, universal themes that run through the ideas of productivity well tell me a good story like tell me one thing that happened while you were living the dream here with these uh, with the time management like i really tried to never check email in the morning and i fa- i've just failed miserably i just failed miserably every morning cuz i just you just forget it's just such an easy pattern to get into you just, you just run and check your email in the morning. I failed at the most basic level on that book. I did exactly the opposite of what it told <laughs> me to that's, do. That's the title. It is the title. Yeah, I, I blew it. I work well in... I found I work well in hour and a half chunks. So I know that after an hour and a half, I get tapped out after that. I need to go take a break. And that's where Mor- Julie Morgenstern said, eh, you know, go do something that you wouldn't normally do to sort of clear your head. So I took a nature walk. <laughs> And then I began worshiping the moon, and then I had a blood orgy. Uh, That's productive, though. It was productive. You weren't going to get to that blood orgy for weeks. I, at least I got something done in the day. I wrote a blog post, and then I slit a goat's throat, drank its blood, and then cried to the moon. Um, and it was a montage set to a Sarah McLaughlin song. It was really pretty. And, you know, who knows how soon it'll be before I revert to my old ways of just kind of doing things whenever I feel like doing them as they come. Even in this economy, I, I was lucky enough to, you know, I was lucky enough to work a, a little bit this year, so it just became about how do I juggle, uh, you know, those responsibilities and still maintain some, some kind of a some kind of a home life. I got animals to feed. <laughs> I got plants to hug. I got Sarah McLaughlin songs to listen to. 